The Cooler Master Master Fan MF120 Halo, long name for a fan, has a 9 blade design. It uses a rifle bearing and this is an ARGB uh, fan, so addressable lighting. This means it's 5 volts, not the usual 12 volts. So before purchasing, please make sure that your motherboard has the proper support for it. Nevertheless, uh, if your motherboard has three years uh, or less, uh, most likely you will already have a fully support for addressable RGB lighting. Anyway, uh, in this box, Cooler Master also provides uh, um, a controller. So this is a wired RGB controller that will allow also those who don't have uh, a RGB motherboard support to use the RGB lighting of these fans. Uh, and nevertheless, the modes in this case will have to be manually switched by pressing, physically pressing on the button of this RGB controller. Uh, as you can see from the box, uh, I got the three fan set as I will be needing them for a 360 millimeter uh, radiator. Nevertheless, uh, also the single fan package is available. I got this on Amazon for 55 USD dollars, so while the single fan version should go around for 20 dollars. It has a fan speed rated between 615 and 1800 RPM. The airflow uh, CFM is uh, 42.2. The air pressure is uh, 1.60. Fan noise level goes from 6 up to 30 decibel. Dimensions is 120 by 20, 120 and uh, 25 millimeters thick. Cooler Master declares that these fans make use of a silent cooling technology, which uh, it's basically a mixture of noise reduction technology and sound absorbing materials, offering a quiet cooling solution even when it's under full load. So let's unbox it now. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing now. Here we have the three fans. Right, so we have this small box uh, with the cables. Just put them aside for now. And here is how the fan looks like. So I said this initially, uh, it has a nine blade design with uh, wave shape uh, blades, inspired by jet engine and helicopter blade, which gives uh, to our system a good um, static air pressure without uh, compromising airflow. As we can read also from uh, the box. We have RGB addressable lighting, so ARGB in these fans and uh, these are certified as compatible with uh, ASUS Aura, AS Rock, and MSI RGB. Let's open the others as well. Okay, now let's see how to mount them in order to check uh, the RGB effects and uh, how the lighting looks like. So let's analyze now each single fan and what's the content, uh, what are the cables included in the package. So each fan has basically the usual 4 pin PWM for the power and two connectors uh, for the ARGB, male and female. So usually it's only one of the two, but in this case we have two since it uh, gives us the possibility to connect those three in daisy chain. So let's take also the second fan. And we can basically connect them together. We can do the same also with the third one. Okay. 
there we go now the other cables provided are basically a simple uh, splitter for the PWM so this goes connected uh, to the motherboard while the other three the black ones will go to the three fans then the other cable we have is this one with the serial data power connector for addressable RGB lighting so we need uh, to connect one of those into this box provided like so this goes to the serial data power and this is the RGB light Cooler Master also provides this conven convenient uh, secure connect cap goes like that and this helps uh, to keep everything in place Okay, now we have the three fans plugged into the computer. They're all connected. Uh, they're all connected uh, to the included box, which helps for switching through the different uh, lighting modes. And that's all. So only these few modes available. Okay, so I now got rid of uh, the included uh, module here. Since my motherboard already supports natively ARGB, I won't be needing this. So now the fans are directly connected to the ARGB splitter I have already in the back of my case. You can check it here. You can also check the review on my motherboard uh, right here. And basically these three fans are now synced uh, with everything else I have in my case. This is currently running uh, a specific uh, rainbow pattern in the AuraSync software. So you can see that everything else has the same uh, color scheme. Now everything will be directly set in the motherboard software. So I can go through all the different modes I have already set up. You can also go through the custom programmed effects if you have any. So from what we can see here, I think the RGB implementation of Cooler Master is really impressive. With a dual loop addressable RGB lighting, 24 individually controlled ARGB LEDs divided in two rings. So basically you have LEDs in the frame and also in the inner half. As we can see right now, the diffusion across the blades is really well done. I hope it's quite visible also in the video. The fans are currently completely silent, I can't hear them. 
As we said, it has a fan speed rated between 615 and 800, uh, 1800 RPM. So it should be quite noticeable at maximum speed. But I usually have uh, silent uh, curves set in my BIOS, so not an issue. And uh, nevertheless, the performances are great, uh, even if uh, there is a bit of noise at uh, maximum speed. But that's applicable for all fans with the same specs. So in the end, we can't really complain about this product. It comes at a great price. You're basically paying less than $18 uh, dollars for, for one fan. It has top performance at this price range and the RGB implementation is basically impressive with the great diffusion and the non-destructing lighting. I also appreciate the secure connection clips provided with these fans and the daisy chain connectivity. This fan is uh, recommended especially for radiators due to its uh, great airflow and air pressure performances. It easily beats uh, the Corsair uh, QL120 for example or other RGB fans at similar price. I'll be mounting these fans uh, on a 360mm radiator so stay tuned for more videos if you're interested in that. In order to do that, please uh, click on the subscribe button below and click on the bell for being notified on interesting content. Let me know also in the comments below if you have any impression about this video or the product itself and if you have other alternatives in mind. So um, that's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.